what is the relationship between frequency and spirituality? Those um, different dimensions, for example, is a good example of spirituality and frequencies, right? Because we're talking about one dimensional, three dimensional, four dimensional, uh, three dimensional, four dimensional, we can kind of interpret that as frequencies, okay? Different frequencies of of mathematics. How does it relate with spirit spirituality is that, well, when you can get into those higher dimensions, like the fourth dimension at least, then you start to tap into that spiritual world, right? Because the spiritual world is the unseen. The spiritual world is the world that is existing in the four dimensions and higher than that. Exist it because the spiritual world is everywhere all the time at the same time, right? Every everywhere, every time at the and in one place and everywhere at the same time. So that's kind of like the concept of spirituality because God is like that. God is everywhere, past, present, and future, here and everywhere at the same time. Another way you can connect frequencies with spirituality is the frequency of your body. Another concept about Taoism is uh, yin and the yang, just like we have the yin and the yang coils. So there are two complementary uh, forces that represent all things. They're present everywhere. Okay, it's pretty uh, pretty clear. We have man and woman. We have sun and the moon. We have darkness. We have light. Right. Everything's basically in the in the duality. Uh, in in the universe right except the single singularity which is um god right so yin is the feminine it represents the feminine it's and um uh, it represents the passive and the receptive aspects of the universe while the yang represents the masculine the more active assertive aspects of the universe so Taoism teaches us that we need to balance the two forces in order to achieve you know happiness or achieve energy that makes you wonder like, hmm, let's go, let's go, let's get them, that kind of energy. If you ask traditional Chinese medicine TCM doctors, they say that most people, actually pretty much everyone, uh, they're low on yin energy because they have so much stress. They have too much stress and too much tension in their body and their intention in, in, their, in their mind. So they need more yin. They need to build up that yin and you don't need yang that much. So you need more yin and you need yang a little bit once in a while. So yin and yang. So you got to balance everything. And if you look at the yin and yang symbol, you guys seen it before, right? Like the martial arts symbol. You see there's the, the, the black part has a white dot in it and the white part has a black dot in it. And the, the uh, interpretation is that, you know, in, in the feminine, there's always a little bit of masculine. And in the masculine, there's always a bit of feminine. So there's never 100% of one thing. There's always a little bit of something in the, in, in the other parts. They're all actually the same thing, right? It's all part of the whole. This is very helpful when you uh, encounter problems or you encounter bad people in your life. This is some concept that I think uh, North Americans are basically modern culture has a hard time understanding. Maybe it's starting to understand it a little bit more these days, but you know, over the last hundred years since uh, since America was founded. They're founded on the principle of pursuit of happiness. So they always want to chase things. They want to chase more money, more power, more fame, more this, right? They want to get laid, get paid, and then live it forever, right? And what happens is that they pay for it with their health, right? Or they pay for it with their spiritual health. So they're chasing money, they're paying for it with their physical health, and they're paying for it with their spiritual health. So at the end of the day, they have a ton of money, maybe, but they have a lot of problems. People thought money was real. They thought the paper had real value, but cryptocurrency made people understand and finally realize that all that is just illusion. Money is an illusion. Anybody can create a cryptocurrency these days, and if you get enough people to think it's worth something, then it's going to start worth being worth something. Like take a lot, look at Dogecoin. It's just a dog. It's got no meaning at you know, behind it, it's just a meme. And now it's worth so much money, billions of dollars, right? So now we understand money is just an illusion. Cryptocurrency is also an illusion. All this money, all this wealth and all this, you know, thing is just a form of energy. If you understand how to, that is energy, then you realize, oh, well, then I don't really need my physical hands to make it anymore. I can just use my mind to make it. If it's just energy, then it has something beyond physical properties, right? It has energetic properties. Everything is energy. And this is all just an illusion. If it's an illusion, I can change whatever I want. I can change my perception. I can change my frequency. Then I can change the illusion. And the moment you be able to do that, you become very powerful. 
moment you be able to do that, you're infinitely more powerful than somebody who doesn't wake up. It's like the moment that Neo from the Matrix woke up and realized, opened his eyes, and he saw that everything was just a code. You see this code going up and down everything. You know, the Matrix code? Everything was green, and everything was a code. That was the moment he realized, oh, this is not real. This is just a illusion. I can see the code. And when you can take, take a step back, and all, all you, and it's very simple. You just need to, you just need to do it. And you realize, wow, all this is just frequency. All this is just code. All this is just energy 